All right, everybody. Now, uh, if you didn't watch my restoring uh, Zippo insert, Frankenstein insert video, what I wanted to show you, because this is a neat little trick, so people who aren't going to watch that video might want to see this trick, so I'm going to make a separate video just for this small trick. But if you ever break or lose your flint wheel and you're in a jam and or you're on the other side of the world and you can't order a new one or it's hard to get, I hear Zippos are very hard to get on, on the other side of the world for some reason. But uh, and parts are too and everything like that. So if you still want to use it and you can't use it and the springs broke, all you got to do is attach a nail to the spring instead. See that? Cut a nail, grind the end so it fits in the spring, and use that instead. And that, my friends, is a quick little trick to fix your Zippo because it doesn't need to be threaded. The pressure of it being in the Zippo. The pressure of it being in the zippo will hold that flint. So that's a quick little trick. Now this isn't actually a zippo. This is that continental, whatever the hell this is. But and so the fly the the flint screw wouldn't fit in the hole because the hole in this one's actually smaller than a regular zippo one. So I had to use a nail and fashion this. But if you strip your threads or anything like that in the insert and you still need to use it and you're in a jam or whatever, this works. It's a quick, easy little fix, guys. So everyone take care, have a good time. And that's my video on the quick little fix.